It's World Scleroderma Day, a part of a Scleroderma Awareness Month. The focus on an autoimmune disorder, which is marked by the hardening and thickening of connective tissues about the human body. While this rare disease may not be popularly known to Trinidad and Tobago, experts say the data received suggests that there are at least 150 people living in this country with the disease. Susan Spence, a co-founder of the Scleroderma Care Foundation, sat down with Marie Hull and told her what it's like living with this autoimmune disease. The features on Susan Spence's body have significantly changed over the years. Being diagnosed with scleroderma in 2005 is what she says changed her life. Scleroderma or systematic sclerosis is a group of diseases that affect connective tissues in the body. The disease predominantly affects women with a female to male ratio up to 9 to 1. A teacher for 23 years, Susan tells me it wasn't until a pair noticed changes in her skin that she found out about the disease. My skin was very, very dark. And when I, um, I came home and I looked at myself in the mirror, I realized that it was true. It was like three shades darker. And that is when I started to really investigate, because I didn't get a diagnosis until 2005, June 2005. By that time, I had many problems because some of the doctors didn't know what it was. A condition that came with many obstacles. Hair loss, the tightening of the skin, my whole facial feature changed from what I used to look like before because I had my nice thick lips and nice nose and eyes opening, then have the tightening of the esophagus, lung problems because I have pulmonary fibrosis now and pulmonary hypertension, so I'm breathless often. There is no known cause of scleroderma and it's not contagious. Treatment, however, is expensive and it's the main reason Susan has opted not to be on a strict regimen of pharmaceuticals. Because I feel that the way that my body is compromised, I don't think I should put in things that are artificial. That's just my, my opinion, you know, that my body, and I need to live some more years, I, need, I want more years of my life, I want to live. I want to live because I have um, two teenagers, <clears throat> I need a parent. The Scleroderma Care Foundation is a non-governmental organization that is dedicated to the overall improvement in the quality of life for those affected by scleroderma within Trinidad and Tobago. President of the foundation, Antolin Holder, says published statistics on the disease isn't that easy to come across. Based on the, in, the incident rates in other international countries, um, it's roughly about 300,000 people per million. No, per population, right? So if you extrapolate that forward, it, there's about possibly somewhere 150 persons with scleroderma in Trinidad and Tobago. Some patients prefer to keep it quiet, some, you know, for whatever social reason, they don't want people to know, you know, they don't want family to know, they don't want friends to know. So we know of about 36 individuals. Um, we've had about seven deaths within the last decade. Miss Penn says every day is a challenge, but with faith, she gets through her day. Marie Hall, C News.